Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're talking about the top four reasons, or at least the four reasons that I have, to be a math major. Many of you are considering being one of the many, the select, the incredible math majors of the world. Welcome. These are the reasons I think that you should make that decision. And these don't have to be the only reasons, and you gotta take all these with a grain of salt, right? This is just what I think today. So the top reason, and the reason why many, many of you will be choosing to be math majors, is you wanna become a math teacher, maybe a math professor, or simply a mathematician. That is your end goal. That's your career choice. That's the job, the profession that you wanna be. You love math so much that you just wanna do it and share it with the world. Hey, that's what I ended up doing. I basically chose to be a math major because I wanted to teach math. And that definitely wasn't how I started out. I sort of fell into this in one way or another, but that is such a great reason. And I think it's, it's obvious, obviously, but it's something that you do wanna consider. Hey, why most people are math majors probably because they want to teach math or maybe they want to go on and be a math professor like get their phd or maybe you want to work for the government or some private industry solving hard math problems you know being a real field expert mathematician uh, that's not the route i went but that's really what you want to keep in mind with you're doing any kind of major right you want to know what's the end goal right what job are you searching for what is it you want to do when you graduate. Number two, if you don't want to be a math teacher, professor, or mathematician, you might want to be a math major or you might want to get a math degree for potential job flexibility. And I know that might seem a little contradictory based on what I just said, but math major is a pretty analytical thing. You know, it's one of the STEM majors, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math, right? So it already has a certain status to it that's an analytical field. You know, it's a nice kind of all around problem solvy degree, especially depending on what you do. Maybe you get into like a more applied mathematics, very technical. Maybe it's something that you can use to branch into many different areas. So I know at least when I was searching for some jobs, you know, there were like financial analysts or even accountants or economics kind of things. And all of these jobs basically required sort of a STEM type degree. I think applicants who had majored in finance or accounting or engineering or math, right? I think any of these kind of analytical slash techie fields, you know, had a shot. I mean, maybe if you're just a pure math major and you're going as a financial analyst, uh, maybe you don't have as good of a shot as someone who has a degree in financial analytics, but there is that level of flexibility there. So as, as it can be more geared towards teachers, you do have some room just because you getting a math degree means, hey, I'm a problem solver. I know how to rationally and analytically think, and it shows a certain level of competence. Number three, if you don't even want to get a job right out of undergrad, maybe you want to go to grad school. And I, in my opinion, having a math degree is a really nice launching platform to grad school. Obviously, if you want to continue on in mathematics, doing a master's in math, which is what I did, or even a PhD in mathematics, you probably almost certainly want to have a bachelor's degree in mathematics. Just get that foundational stuff out of the way. You know, if you're, if you're going to grad school for math, you're definitely not gonna be taking any calculus classes. You know, that's kind of like assumed knowledge and many of the introductory proof ideas and just kind of the introductory ideas behind mathematics in general is sort of prerequisite knowledge. You know, your instructors are gonna expect that you know this stuff, but even if you're not going to grad school for math, maybe you're going to grad school for physics or some type of engineering, I think having a bachelor's in math is a great stepping off point, especially in like some of the sciences, like maybe chemistry. I'm sure you have to use a lot of mathematics in chemistry. Obviously I don't know for sure, that's not my field, but I've heard complaints from people who were in graduate school from chemistry and they were complaining about the math. So 
it's kind of neat that you maybe can springboard math and get into these different fields and have almost a leg up you know if you have a math degree and everyone else has chemistry degrees well maybe you're not as well versed in chemistry but you are probably more versed in the math which you know can help you can maybe not depends on you depends on your degree and everything depends right and i know even a while ago my orthodontist right he obviously went to you know dentistry school or medical school i'm not sure which school he went to but you know he became an orthodontist but he was a physics major or he might have been a math major i'm not sure but he was either a physics or a math major as an undergrad and you know he became an orthodontist so you can use these kind of techie analytical stem majors as springboards into many different things and the fourth the fourth reason i mean come on the fourth reason to be a math major is because you have a love of mathematics you have a love of higher mathematics in fact you know it's tough too because especially in the united states the first two years of college if you're planning to be a math major really are not like what a math major is really about you know the first two years of college you're probably taking some calculus maybe differential equations maybe a little bit of linear algebra depending but you don't really get into the real hardy you know abstract proof classes you know the real analysis the abstract algebra and topology until your final two years at university and that's really the heart of the math major I mean, many engineers and scientists you know they take all the same two-year classes at least in the united states so your first two years you're, you're not even necessarily a math major yet you're really a math major in the latter two years so if you want to be a math major you need to love or at least to like or at least at least tolerate those higher level abstract courses that higher level math so what i often recommend to people if you're thinking about being a math major, you know, check out some introductory proof books, you know, some stuff that introduced you to mathematical thinking and proving some little theorems. And if you like the process of, you know, reasoning through things, you know, start with some assumptions and some definitions, draw conclusions, you know, that's, that's what you're doing most of the time as a math major. And if that's what you really like, then yeah, check it out more. So you need to have a certain level of tolerance, maybe even a little love for that higher level mathematics, not just the calculus. Anyway, those are just the top four reasons I had today as to why you should be a math major. I'd love to know if you have other reasons yourself for becoming a math major. I really would like to know in the comments below. And if you want to know the top four reasons to not be a math major you can click a link somewhere around here maybe right right there i think oh there it's good, good top four reasons to not be a math major thanks very much for watching to the end and i hope you have a great day